Hello everyone, welcome to your reading for mid-month of November 15th to the 30th, November 2019. Okay, I'm still giving away the Les Vampires and the Tarot de la Nuit, so you can still comment to enter the competition. I will announce at the end of this month the winners, okay? For personal readings, you can go to my website and get a personal reading there. I have uh, who is your future love partner as a personal reading, who, um, how he or she feels about you, one question, five question reading in love or career, love triangle reading, bring back X reading, everything is on the website that is showing here. And you also have my email address in the description below this video with also my merch, the link to the merch website. I have phone cases and leggings and jumpers. You see it says goddess. So if you are a goddess, you can always get, get with the vibe. Okay, I'm having my coffee. So everything is there. It should show on, um, on the website should show here as well underneath my videos. And you have in the description below this video, you also have the link to go to the website okay so i hope you enjoy your reading and let's begin with your sign thank you hello gemini welcome to your reading gemini sun moon rising and venus signs in gemini november 20 november mid-month 2019 november mid-month for gemini Emotional healing. Your connection with children is part of your life purpose. Be yourself. Easy does it. Stop trying too hard. Some of you are trying to have more children or children. Stop trying too hard. Also, on a general, uh, be it in your career or love life, Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open up for you. Even trying so much to have children sometimes when people let go of the stress that, you know, or that some people can't get pregnant and they try and try and try, but they'll get stressed. When you just stop thinking about it, it will happen. Some of you, it's that. So there's a view just on a general... Um, Opening doors for career, love, emotional healing. As your heart heals of all the emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. And you have to ask the universe and ask people around you for help. Tell, tell people around you and tell people, tell the universe and people around you what you need, what you want and what you need from them. Okay. Admit your true feelings to yourself. So that's the first step. Admitting your feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. Some of you, you, you want to slow down. You don't. You, and some people are putting pressure on you. So, some type of pressure be it in your love life or your career and you need to slow down and you need to feel stop and, and think and feel what it is that you desire and need right now wow marriage well maybe you have to get married first and then children this could be to do with a marriage a new home some of you uh, You've been married and uh, you just need a change here, a change of, uh, maybe you were single in that house and uh, you need to get your own house with this person or some, that type of energy here, new home, new um, marriage, celebrating wedding, uh, wedded bliss in the new home. 
And also some of you have a new business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. See, with your career, you need to be yourself. Could be linked to your children. Um, you know, have a family business even I'm picking up. Or for the younger generation, something to do. Okay, I'm getting clothing, children's clothing and or something to do with children could be you wanting to become a teacher or um, working in the nursery or um, whatever that is linking to your um, connection with children okay some of you are going to move also moving in with someone Are you just going to someone's um, married um, wedding? Sorry, <laughs> someone's wedding. There's marriage there, so they maybe you're going to a wedding. Or um, right, call for help. Who had this? Um, Taurus. Well, there's a, a Taurus and a um, Virgo mix. Some of you dealing with a Taurus, some of you dealing with a Virgo. Okay, madness, call for help. Some of you need to uh, follow some rules and, or even set rules and tasks for everyone in your home. Okay, so everyone helps. Um, something is. You need to release some type of energy that is driving you crazy. So also turning to religion or spirituality, faith. Ecstatic ritual. Okay. Um, I'm picking up some of you have done some um, type of attraction, manifestation um, in the full moon. And it's to do with uh, wanting to get married or wanting a new home. Even having children also. The need for backup. Some of you just are so busy that you need help. You need help around you. So you need to ask for help. Ask for others to help you out. Reach out to them and... This business could be to do with um, some of you in a spiritual business, a spiritual business or uh, even um, something at a church, something that you um, helping people that, yeah, helping people that are going through, that are going through it. Being there for, for these people, okay? They have mental health also. Helping uh, others with their mental health. Support. Could be with children. Special needs children. This is part of your purpose. So Gemini, mid-month of November, yeah, we've got the High Priestess, Spirituality and the World card. So you could be doing something online, hidden knowledge, that something that only you can do it, only you possess that knowledge, knowledge here, <laughs> sorry, spirituality could be one and but could, it's anything that you can put out to the world. Yeah, some, something online. Definitely the world card could be online. Near future, the seven of pentacles. Okay. 
So if you met someone online here, okay, or um, there is a distance relationship and you, it's, it could be a Pisces. Yeah, we've got the fish here and the high priestess. Fish and the high priestess is um, definitely a Pisces. Three of swords in the past. You've been heartbroken. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be a third party situation that uh, this person was involved with, with someone at a distance or someone online. Page of Swords. Crowning you is the Page of Swords. So is someone that, uh, they're quite mature. They, um, yeah, they're there, but they're not 100% there. Gemini okay this could also be your energy of you needing to speak speak your truth be more uh, upfront and I do see you could be involved with someone that I see that they are uh, they're all over you sometimes but then No, what they're so obsessed about is just they focus on one thing they don't focus on the whole um, relationship they just focus uh, on some parts of you it's like they cannot multitask that's for sure um, they may just even just like one part of your body that they really like and then it's really they, they're really quite immature this could be a younger, a young Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a young air sign like yourself. Could be younger than you. We've got judgment. So we've got a final decision here that you need to make using your intuition. You've got religion and spirituality. Um, some of you need to take time to go uh, within and find the answer here to this um, to this relationship, even because you may be thinking about the page is a, is a child having a see it could be a son that you want to have. From this person it could be having or uh, be becoming pregnant here trying to become pregnant but when you do you will have a son and it could be an air sign yeah so even this person needs to make a decision if they uh, both of you obviously it's a decision for both um, if they're ready or not Gemini yeah could be an Aquarius that you're involved with so there is um, the six of wands is victory feeling on top of the world with the star card is getting a wish fulfilled fulfillment of wishes but with the six of wands i don't really trust this card especially um is someone that is all about themselves There is definitely a strong attraction here, but is this attraction enough for marriage and for uh, that big step, that big commitment? I just feel that someone here is quite uh, emotionally mature. And they can't just do... Uh, take responsibility for a lot of things if you're going to put everything on them you're going to find out that you know they can't cope it's going to be madness 
Seven of Pentacles going into the near future. We've got the Five of Swords. So in the near future, I do see that you know they enjoy spending time and putting an effort with you and see that relationship growing there and things coming to fruition. But there is a, a Five of Swords. So there is a, a lot of conflict with... with this particular person. Yeah, you know, I do see that, again, the Knight of Swords air sign. There is a, a strong wanting to dominate and um, have them on your feet or this person. It's both of you, it's like a power struggle. You have a power struggle here. And that causes worry. This person causes more stress than, and arguments than, than really uh, emotional fulfillment. But I do see that you can heal. Outcome. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you, um, an earth sign is definitely a better match for you or someone that has financial stability here. Yeah, we've got fire, king of pentacles and the king of wands. Very passionate and grounded person. Could be a Leo Sag Aries. So for you, I do see that earth or fire there is that victory between the two this um, these elements here taurus virgo capricorn and, and leo sag aries with gemini steady and uh, relationship growing I do see there's an air sign that is causing drama in your life, wanting to wanting to take charge, but they don't really know what they're doing. Be mindful if this is a um, you wanting to, you know, it's just your. Not wanting to be alone, that you choosing this person that is just just like a kid. It's another kid. Ten of Pentacles, yes, because you're feeling alone, you're getting into a relationship with this person. This could also be um, a lot of expenses and, and wanting to have a family, wanting to have children, but or, or a lot of expenses with and around children, uh, family. Temperance is tell, it's telling you to be patient and to going into a relationship with someone like this, okay? Gemini, even with yourself, uh, give yourself time give yourself time easy does it that's why and that's why the the knight of pentacles because you need to take it slow seriously here you need to take it slow and if they're taking it slow you shouldn't get mad you should accept that rhythm because i don't think this is the real deal this person not right now so why is the world card here Gemini so crying over spilled milk someone showing some guilt and regret for being uh, inconsistent could be we've got Sagittarius energy here being inconsistent and 
I do see they're very passionate, but they're inconsistent. And they, they could have cheated on you in the past. Yeah, we've got Pisces and Capricorn. And this is no, this Aries, Capricorn, Pisces. You used to be intimate a lot in, in the bath. You used to take, uh, used to go in the bath together. Well, this person um, likes to run you a bath. Some of you is someone that wants to um, have a second chance with you, but you have a new, completely new cycle ahead of you, and you it's pending because of this. Okay. And you know that this is a burden here. It's like they're causing you, they're causing a burden in your life instead of bliss. So you do have the world card, which you should embrace it, but it's crossing you. So you might take it or you may not take it that new cycle in your life because you may not take it because this person keeps coming in and out of your life or you going in and out of their life but you you have to embrace the new <clears throat> and you're not because somehow they bring some drama and they get put you where they want you to be also could be you, okay, you're doing this to someone, you're putting someone where you want them to be whenever, you know, uh, you're ready. And again, it could be definitely re reaching out for a, um, for a second chance here. You could be reaching out for a second chance. They could be reaching out. Five of Wands. So you're feeling like you... Um, I see that you sense that this person has multiple people. have seen... Or you caught them even cheating before. It's like some of you recorded yourselves um, or they want you to record um, and watch watch you uh, you and this person being intimate. You've recorded. It's like you've got Uh, I'm not feeling that this is a good thing, actually. It's like they, you or them feel like they have power over because they have like or pictures or, or videos of you being intimate with each other. Yeah, I see that they're trying to seduce you back in, but you really need to take that leap of faith into the unknown, starting from zero. And you possibly really need to leave this person behind because and move, get a new home. Um, this could be someone you've been married or lived to, uh, was living with them. Uh, or, you know, before you think about marriage, because there's this second chance and now you may feel, oh, this is now, now it's going to happen, now it's for good. Uh, it just doesn't... <clears throat> It just doesn't feel like that, um, Gemini. 
doesn't feel like that okay so and it could be also you that you're not ready for this with them enjoying having them their attention have them on your feet um going public with this relationship uh, seeing how people react to you being I know that Geminis don't like to be alone. It could be a very public relationship or, like I said, some of you have that issue with uh, things going public like pictures and videos and things like that. So be mindful and check that. <clears throat> if you don't want that to happen, don't record yourself and don't let them pay attention to what they're doing, okay? Because it's very easy now to do that with all these phones and technology and stuff like that. But um, ending this, take it slow. I do see the better option for you is earth or fire. <clears throat> but still kind of taking it very, very slow. You want passion and you want someone that has... Uh, stability and brings you that stability and security makes you feel safe and someone that can be consistent this is a consistent night and don't let ego or pride get in the way just uh, you feeling like um you in control or uh, this person could be putting you like I said where they want you to be under their their control under their um, yeah <clears throat> under their power it is definitely a power struggle here so all the best with everything um, Gemini thank you so much this is a quick one for mid-month. Take care. Bye-bye.